So we've seen uh, Skype and all sorts of ways to have conversations. I used to play with something called See You, See Me. See, if you, if you remember that, it dates you a little bit in this industry. <laughs> but here we have Net Power and Light, who's going to show us a new way to communicate with other human beings, hopefully. And it's called Spin. <laughs> And who are you? I'm Tara LeMay, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of NetPower and Light, home of SPIN. And what are we about to see? Well, we're about to see you know, our way of really increasing how people can have emotion at scale and connect to each other deeply and personally and increase, uh, increase how we engage with each other and yeah. how we do things in the world. Well, it's, it's interesting before we show it to you. I, I, I've just been thinking through my whole life because I was really heavy into See You, See Me, which uh, had little tiny pictures. And you were lucky if you got one frame a second out of those little pictures. But it was really cool because you could see somebody in Japan and somebody in Russia on your screen, right? And then we got NetMeeting. Then we got Skype. And here we are. You're the newest. Well, we, thing. <laughs> we wanted to make the world come together and we wanted to, you know, we wanted technology to fade into the background and people to start to engage with each other. And, you know, you have to be able to laugh at the same time where the joke's not funny. And it's not so much fun to just stare at each other's heads. You really want to do and be mobile and see and sort of be part of each other's life and each other's world. So that's what we set out to do. So um, this is like the Skype for the new generation. It's a... Uh, First of all, we have high bandwidth now, right? We don't have to worry about the kind of picture quality issues we had in the 1990s with See You, See Me. We have mobile devices, right? I phones and tablets. Yep. It, this is only on iOS right now, right? It's only on iOS right now. And when we set out, one of the things we said was, well, if the browser was the impetus for the information age, we wanted to be the amplifier for what we call the experience age. Like, how do we change the way we experience each other in the world? And we think that's part of the next wave of where things are going. So Let, let's see it. I, you know, I, I'm also playing like Google Hangouts, and of course we all use Skype. We use a variety of tools to yeah. try to communicate with each other, and we'll, we'll see what makes you different from all sure. those, I think, by seeing it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we're, we're definitely about, about showing stuff. So th this is an app. First of all, does this cost any money to download? Nope, it's free. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to bring in one of my friends here, Lonnie, who she's going to come join us. Um, and everything we do, we try to increase you know, how people connect with each other. So full touchability is how we look at the world. So Lonnie's now here with us, and you can see me, um, and you can see Lonnie, and she is across town. Um, and in our full touchability, I can start to say, hey, Lonnie, I want to show you some photos. So I can pull in my camera roll on my iPad, and I can start to share my photos with her. And she can see what I see, and we're fully synchronized. And she can start to say, oh, that's really cool. So she's giving me a little bit of a high five on there. And I can say, well, you know, pay attention to this guy. You know, we really want to, um, we really want to you know, have fun with him a little bit. So we yep. start engaging with each other. And we start touching and moving and feeling. And we can leap from place to place. The other thing we can start to do is we can start to watch stuff together. So I can pull in a video and say, hey, do you want to watch this with me? So anything available on YouTube, you can pull in and engage with. And I have my sound down, so I'm going to give us a little sound here. She's giving but, a stand innovation to the video, but I'm going to bring yeah. the sound down so we don't disrupt our, our These mics will probably pick us, uh, us up, but not what's on the iPad. Sorry about that. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> Rocky so, says it is. <laughs> so, Lonnie, um, can you bring in yeah. some, some uh, photos for us to share? Sure. So, Lonnie's going to bring in photos from her side. Um, so when she brings in photos, if she shares something from her iPad, only um, she can drive them. But if she shows something from Facebook or Flickr where she gives us a stream, I can drive. And not only that, but I can say, okay, I really want to see the detail. So I can zoom all the way out and get into macro detail and zoom all the way back in. And these, these are all part of what we design as human fidelity. What mm -hmm. do we want to do? We want to redirect our attention. If I make Lonnie bigger, she gets louder. If I make her smaller, she gets quieter. I can put, throw her around and move her around on here. We can change color. So you might not think changing color is that much fun, but it turns out when you all want to vote on something, you can all say, everybody agree, turn green. Everybody disagree, turn red. 
So my family, we watch football together every weekend. And we'll get together and we'll turn on the TV and we'll actually use this as a way to connect each other's living rooms. And we'll start you know, cooking uh, chicken wings and yelling for our favorite teams, starting to throw tomatoes and you know, engage with each other in a different way. So, um, so that can be really fun to do. The other thing that we can do is we can invite people. So we can say, OK, um, we want to plan something together. We can create an invitation. Um, so we can choose some cool photos that we want to have in our invitation. Um, and we can say it's a birthday party, so we want to get together for a birthday. Um, I can type upside down. Yeah. Um, and you know, pick where in the world we want to engage, because a lot of us have family all over the world. And um, share some details. So these, these uh, evites, uh, they don't go to Facebook or Twitter. They, they just go to other people who are on spin already, right? Yeah, they'll go to whoever you want to invite. If you pull them in, you can use their email address. And just it'll send an email to them, and it gives them a quick way to download Spin, and they can use it on their iPhone or their iPad, their Mini, their Touch, and they can even put it up on with AirPlay onto their Apple TV and have a big experience with people, which is also really fun. Um, Pretty crazy. Um, you see the kind of quality. It, you know, yeah, you could do pieces of this with other tools, but you can't get this kind of experience. How are, so? How are you guys going to make a business out of this? Well, um, well, a lot of people are already asking for more things from us. And so we are very, we care a lot about um, trust. And we care a lot about if you're inviting your friends and family into intimate spaces, we want to be very sensitive to privacy, so we are. Um, but people are asking us for stuff, saying, hey, can we include more things for business? Or can we include more yeah. things for group meetings? And do you have um, new places we can go? So those are all things we yeah, can do. Yeah, the first thing I thought about this, I mean, you're using it in a sort of a fun, you know, almost a teenager kind of context. I want to use this only for uh, business meetings with other people in rack yeah. space around the world. So we do our engineering stand-ups on it right now. And so people all over the world come together with us on our Monday mornings or our, our team, our agile meetings. And we do our stand-ups and we do our voting and we draw our numbers on the board and everybody's writing. And it's, um, it's a good way to do it. You, you don't have a way to drag in a, a keynote or a PowerPoint or a So right now, if you wanted to, to do that, you could add, you could put images on your iPad photo. And the nice thing about that is you don't upload them anywhere. So they're secure and private to you. But in the future, we'll give you more ways of adding all the kinds of content So there's a lot of peer-to-peer -peer technology underneath here? There's an entirely new operating environment that we use across, uh, across the globe for doing it. And we built a whole new set of application services. And so... Um, and you can have 10 different environments coming together. And you know, we see teachers starting to use it in our beta communities where students will start to study together in groups of 10 and the teacher will move between them, sliding up and down. Or when we did it with um, Major League Soccer with DC United, we had lots of people creating shared living rooms and then fans moving from space, space to space just as if they were in the stadium to join their friends in different rows. Um, waving flags and cheering and blowing horns. Now, you don't have a public context yet, right? With Google Hangouts, I can have nine people in a room and then have a thousand people watching that, those nine people. You don't have that yet. Right? We don't have it on our first release, but clearly it's something people have been asking us for, and um, um, I think you'll see a lot more new and cool things coming. Okay. Uh, how long have you guys been working on this? And tell me about the team behind it. We've been working on it for about... Uh, uh, a little over three years, and um, the team, my co-founders are Stan and Nick, who are uh, engineers. Stan's from Ukraine, and Nick's from Russia, and we got together, and we started to think about what would it feel like if we can create emotion at the scale of the internet, and if we could play music together, and you know, have a laugh at the same time, or have that like big aha when mm -hmm. you get it. And so we just went for it, and we said, we need to, in order to do that, you need this human fidelity. And we looked to folks like Walt Disney as our inspiration, because he was trying to make people feel. And um, he, he built a lot of technology, yeah. but you never really thought of them as a tech company. And that's how we think of ourselves as an experience company, not a tech company per se. But we filed 80 patents, so we are a very tech wow. company. And we've, that's a uh, lot of patents for a startup, because most startups have one or two patents if they're lucky. Right? It is, yeah. Um, Can you we, tell me about some of the patents or some of the technology underneath that sure. we might not notice because you're hiding it uh, um, under the covers? Yeah, we created a new Kodak. We call it a Sentio Kodak. So a video Kodak was really about seeing. Sentio comes from the root of feeling or emotion. So we created a new kind of Kodak so that people could have emotion. 
Um, we have some patents on pervasive computing. Um, because we don't see mobile as a device, we see mobile as people. And really, the device should fade away, and really, you should be mobile, and you should be connected to each other as if there is no device between you. Are you using sensors in the iPad in any unique way? We're using, um, we're using um, yes, we're using uh, um, accelerometers and sensors. We're taking advantages of things in iOS 7 now. Um, because there's some cool stuff there. Um, we built a whole physics engine ourselves, and partially that's in there, which means when you move things around, they have a real physics to Sorry, them. Sorry, nobody's seen that. <laughs> that's okay. They, they move and they have a physics, and if you hit the spin button, everything cleans up, which is what I always want in my house, um, clean up button. Um, so having a physics engine gives you the sense of increasing your emotion by increasing touch and energy, and everything we wanted. In real life, when you have great experiences, they don't have a keyboard. Yeah. Right, so we, we made sure that that was out of the way. If you wanted to search for a video, you can, right? So if we wanted to search for you and pull up a video, we can just pull one up right now and drag it right in. But the keyboard then slides out of the way and you're back into the experience mode. Right. And when you, when you drag in a video to watch it and you go into what we call the experience window, everything else goes out of the way. So that just like in the theater, when you become part of something, you're just in it. And the only things that are there are things that increase your experience. like you know, throwing a tomato or, or you know, letting each other have a, a, have a big cheer. And so we put this in the explore space and explore is about moving and remixing your world and people and the experience space is about going deep into that environment. This is really awesome. Thank um, you. I, I'm sure that some of the geeks who are listening are like, when's it coming to Android or Windows uh, tablet or all sure. that kind of stuff? Um, Soon, um, we have a lot of things on the work in the lab that are going to come out shortly, and um, I would highly encourage them to uh, call us if they want to come work with us. Yeah, and uh, tell me about how the company was formed. Uh, uh, what kind of investors do you have behind this? Um, well, I, I was fortunate enough to be co-chair of uh, National Security Task Force after 9/11 on technology with uh, Gilman Louis, who is the CEO of Incutel and now the head of Ossup Louis. And Gilman knew I loved making people emotionally connected, and I thought we could change the world by really experiencing each other more. And so um, when he first met Stan and Nick, who were looking at playing music together, he said, boy, you should meet Tara, and you guys you know, will find each other interesting. And we spent about six months together saying, wow, in what way can we really transform this? Yeah. And then we jumped in and we started to make it happen. Um, and we brought in folks like B Sky B because um, Clearly, passion and sports are really a way that we connect globally, and you know it's the impetus for the Olympics. And yeah. so we wanted to scale to the size of that, to have grand events. And we brought in folks like people like Singapore Telecom because they understand big um, technology that transforms communication, and they really understood what we were building. Yeah. So um, I, I feel really proud that we have great people around us who get it. And John Silly Brown joined our board. Yeah. Adobe, right? No. Um, Xerox Park. He oh. was the head of Xerox Park, and he was the father of sort of what was called calm computing or ubiquitous computing. And I called him up and I said, JSB, I think you're just going to love what we're doing. I think we're bringing to life what you had a desire to do back in the day. And he's just been a delight to work with. I'm thinking of all the other things I do when I have these kinds of experiences with other people around the world. I, a lot of us are watching Twitter at the same time. I watch Twitter when I'm listening to you speak at TED or something like yeah. that, right? Although it's not allowed in the first few rows of TED, but, uh, yeah. uh, but you know, I've we're always- I've been to a lot of TEDs. That's why we have a standing O, because yeah. I wanted everybody to have that experience. No, I, I see <laughs> a little bit of that, but we're using other communication to talk with people, share yeah, experiences. Sure. Are you thinking about how to wrap it in Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus into these things? Yeah, right now we included Facebook photos and videos because people really want that. Um, what we found is that people are um, using Twitter and Facebook to say, hey, let's have a gathering together. And there's lots of ways that we um, have already played with to get more and more connectivity there. So we said, you know, use whatever social network you want, connect with people whatever way you want, and when you really want to be emotional with them, jump in and use spin. And in the future, I think we're going to be powering up lots of other spaces with it. No, that's really cool. Um, we already covered where this is going a bit, but uh, it seems like a lot of fun. It's coming out today, right? So It's coming out on October well, 1. The video oh, ran on sorry. Tuesday. <laughs> it's coming, so sorry. it's coming out today. It's so. coming out today. Um, 
for all iOS, so it'll be available in the App Store. Let's talk about the iPhone because it works yeah. on iPhone too. It it doesn't have the surface to play with, to you know drag stuff around. It does right? work on the iPhone. Do you want me to get it? No, that's fine. Just to um, tell me how it works. It works on the iPhone as well, and it works on um, it works on LTE. You can be out and about, so we consider it kind of a live GoPro. You've got you know great GoPro technology. We yeah. want to take it to the next level, so. You know, some of our team, they go on a hike, they walk through the Presidio every day, showing their point of view of the world. They take it shopping. They're at the America's Cup right now, um, broadcasting back to the office with it. Um, driving to Yosemite, showing the road trip, experiencing the world that way. Um, what we did was we expanded the footprint. We basically said, the iPad's great, or even when we go up on the Apple TV, we've got huge space. Yeah. Um, how do we take advantage of that? So we said, let's use the space beyond um, beyond the device and really treat the whole world as is, if it's possible and we'll just move around between it. Everything that we do, we try to increase um, tactile sensibility. And so, you know, how would you move? What's really great is people on our team, um, when their kids engage with it, and I mean like four-year-olds, five-year-olds, they get it immediately yeah. because they just want to move and touch and play. And when folks like my mom use it, she immediately gets it and says, I can't break anything. You know, there's nothing for me to break. And I think that's a sign for us that we're, we're getting there. No, no, it's really, really well done. And I congrats to you and your team Thank for doing you. this. Where do we learn more about it? Because the company name is... Uh, Net Power and Light, because Net that's the light. tech that underpins everything. And We've, the product's called Spin. Power's called Spin, and you can go to getspin.com and get it. Very cool. Thank you.